Hmm. A bunker is on fire. Oh my god. Okay, this was not intended. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you are all having an amazing day today. So this video is going to be a showcase of this bunker that I've made, keeping in mind the needs of multiplayer battles and also survival battles. So this is the design of the bunker and the material that I've used for to make this bunker is concrete. I've given this bunker the design of a World War II kind of bunker. So it goes with that flag gun right there, tutorial coming up next. And as for concrete, it's taken from the HBM's nuclear attack mode. Now you guys might be wondering how strong is concrete from HBM's nuclear attack mode compared to cobblestone and iron from a survival or rather vanilla bunker. So let's check it out. So I'm going to take this rocket launcher and I'm going to fill it up with high explosive rockets. Now let's see how cobblestone does against these rockets. Okay, it disappeared. Now let's go for iron. Hmm. Safe to say, if these materials were used to build the bunker, we would be having a bad day today. Now let's go for concrete. Not even a scratch. So this is why this bunker is so durable. It can attack, or rather, it can resist attacks from creepers, planes, bombings, carpet bombings, which I will be showcasing the later part of the video but first let's take a look inside so i can show you guys what are the features of this bunker so coming inside we have a typical bunker bit we have our ammo depot our bombs our food supply and then we have this machine gun set up at a point so that we can attack and defend at the same time now the reason i chose this layout for the bunker is this kind of layout gives us a wide area of attack and defense at the same time we can know what's going outside pretty clearly so for example if i were to attack an enemy i can cover a pretty wide angle just from this corner right here and also these spots are great for sniping So I can be in the safety of this corner while I can snipe out a huge area. Now let's come to the functional parts of the bunker. So this is a radar system that I have made as you can see. If I start feeding power to this radar it starts and now assuming if an enemy plane were to enter our territory this would happen. yeah so we can scope out the skies and the reason i have this lever right here okay let's wait for this radar to shut up okay now the reason i have this lever here is for example if there was no aerial attack but there was a land attack or a ground attack rather then you could manually turn on the siren in order to let your entire team know that you guys are under attack and it's time to prepare for war. Like that. And also all these guns are functional. So you can place as many and as less you want. It all depends on you. Okay, so now coming to the outside bunker you might have observed these square things around the entire periphery of the bunker i am going to explain what are these and then what this entire line of explosives and detonators does so when it gets chilly this entire area gets covered in snow like this so it's natural that even these are covered in snow okay so if okay that was undesirable 
my point was if an unsuspecting enemy walks in on this i'll show you guys what happened okay so if i am an enemy and i accidentally walk on this i'll be thrown up way high in the sky and then i have no way to get down other than falling down yeah taking this fall in survival it's certain death and this way i have covered the entire periphery of the bunker so any unsuspecting enemies will die and also cover the area with smoke so it will give us a signal of where the enemies are attacking us from now as for what this line of uh, explosives do i'm going to demonstrate this with the help of a detonator okay so uh, this right here it connects all the way to the detonator cord outside so this can be activated from the inside but what it looks like from the outside to show that i'm going to do this from here rather than inside so assuming that enemy was charging straight at your bunker and then suddenly this were to happen the entire area is covered in smoke and there is mayhem everywhere so this gives uh, you guys a chance to come in and sneak outside take defensive positions and prepare for a counter attack or if the enemies get too close they are going to take damage from this explosion so this is what i have done for the external safety of the bunker also there are these barbed wires which won't do much in creative but if i am in survival i'm going to take a significant amount of damage okay let me demonstrate that real quick So I can pass through these wires without taking a lot of damage. Now I don't want to die, so I'm going to stop. So this is how I protect the people from the outside. Clear up my inventory here quick. And now I'm going to show you guys how this bunker does against airstrikes. So let's go. Let's call in a carpet bombing, a napalm strike, and finally an admit bomb let's spawn some villagers so that we can know whether the mobs inside or rather the player inside will be safe or not okay so let's start spawning our villagers let's cover up their exit real quick so that they can get out okay now that our villagers are inside let's call in our airstrike first of all carpet bombing hmm. okay let's try that again okay here is our airstrike Let's see how our villagers did. Okay, they are safe. Let's call in a napalm strike. Hmm. A bunker is on fire. Oh my god. Okay, this was not intended, but I'm glad it happened. So we just witnessed two napalm strikes and two air strikes simultaneously. Now let's see how our villagers are doing. Okay, stuff is on fire. But look, these guys are safe. And that is all that matters. Okay, let's call it. A nuclear strike now okay okay 
Oke. Okay. Hmm. Looks like the villagers are dead. Because they were not wearing any kind of armor or hazmat suit. But the bunker survived. So this demonstrates how strong the bunker really is. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed the video, please smash that like button because it would help me out a lot. And also if you want to see more content like this, comment down what you want to see. And also consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace out.